Good morning, violas of the Argyle. Um, hope you're all really, really well. I'm sure you're missing me, Tim and I, desperately. Um, it's lovely to be able to try and see even just through these limited uh, resources. So um, the idea is that uh, you've got your yellow check suite um, and we thought we could put good use of the time that we're all stuck indoors with hours to practice. Um, to learn a piece so we're ready either in September hopefully or uh, whenever we get back we're ready with a piece and we've all kind of got familiar with the notes and done some phrasing and thought about technique and all sorts so it's a, a kind of tutorial please if you don't like something I'm saying just ignore it or, or if you don't like the bowing or anything it's just a suggestion um, I thought it would be maybe nice just to have this clip and you can work on the piece and um, inspire you to keep practicing. So um, I'm doing the first movement of the Janacek suite and I'm just going to do the first page and the idea is to really establish the page and establish the piece and get the real sound world of what, what this piece is all about um, and then once that's set up I think the rest of the movement will follow quite naturally. So I think the beginning is very dramatic um, we are all playing in unison and it's sort of dramatic with these big retakes um, so I think it would be great if the whole orchestra is doing this kind of really retake heavy heavy strokes so um, I've put in you might have noticed in my uh, markings on the page uh, I've changed it to fortissimo so we get the drama I would aim for whole bows lots of vibrato um, and then a big diminuendo in bar two okay something like that so i don't know if you notice but because i'm on the viola i'm a bit more soggy arms and i'm really going to pull through with a nice heavy weight on my arm lots of vibrato to make the note resonate um and you notice the accent is on the minim not on the little note so it's a real pull through on the minim rather than heavy to start with so you can be he a little heavy but then it's a real pull through for the minimum to get the accent then you might notice in bar three I've crossed out the M so you're still F and I think that's because you carry on that line so we've got this utterance at the beginning of the whole orchestra and then I think you and the cellos carry that on and I think that's really important to keep that loud and punchy so I've taken it out and I'd like that really just as forceful really then you come to this figure uh, bar five now you come to this triplet figure and with the first note being missed off I think what he's trying to do here is be um, it's a sort of breathless uh, a breathless angst ag agitated that's where I'm going for breathless agitated feel um, it almost interrupts itself so I would be you notice again I've taken out the slurs so um, because we don't want to be ricocheting and bouncing our bows all over the place or being messy I think it's loud it's in the string and I think do separate bows and as I say almost interrupting itself so it feels urgent <laughs> And you notice the dynamics are heading to the middle of the triplets. So da da ta da dum, da da ta da dum, and always pushing forward, drive forward. Then um, we've got more of the retakes. Now please note the second retake in bar seven, the second minim. I would like you to not retake after that one. That's really important to note there. So we do this. <laughs> and then stay at, down here at the point so that you can then join the seconds. What's happened is in bar seven, the seconds take off, take off with this amazing tune. Bar eight, the violas join in and add, add body and add volume. So the, you are the tune at this point of bar eight and I want it enormous with vibrato. Um, and I shift up in bar nine, I shift up into third position to give the resonance.
Okay, so really, really loud in bar eight. I love all the viewers really playing along. I've got the seconds. I'm encouraging them to really go for that bit because the firsts are, are just continuing the triplet figure. So your it's really your tune. Um, you notice at bar 11, we have a massive diminuendo. Really important to get that. This time, the small note and accent in bar 12 are at the point. Then please be careful about the quavers at the end of the bar because those are not triplet, so those are in strict time. Then we have a big crescendo, and really, again, I think this is your tune, so go for it. Then right away. You're going to have to do very quick retakes in the second half for those accented notes. So it's like the beginning, but you're doing much shorter bows now because you're actually quite, um, actually you're diminuendoing as well. So maybe you don't need quite as much uh, effort as I just put in there. So little bows. <laughs> that is urgent but it's not sort of punching out too much um, now as you get into bar 25 25 to 33 is a bit of fun um, I wouldn't stress too much about this it, what they need is a busyness so you need obviously to try and hit some of the notes hopefully and I wouldn't sweat too much so long as the violas you're with the seconds and then they drop out and you carry on sort of rushing around like this it's more of an effect than every note um, I've given you some fingering in the hope that that might help um, and I think at the beginning it's important to set off as loud as possible and just get as many notes I hope the fingering kind of works I think for helping I've taken out the string crossings at the beginning and then it's unavoidable later and then when you so is it but really important that bar 25 you are loud but you come right away so then you can hardly use your bow float the bow sound busy scurry try and get some of the notes that's my advice i wouldn't sweat too much i did it um i put on the metronome at 60 and worked it up nice and slowly um so <laughs> That was quite brave <laughs> and i got some of the notes most of the notes i think that might give you an idea of how to do it and just don't sweat and the harder it gets and the more busy the less bow and the less effort what i don't want is this because it, as you can hear it just descends into chaos so little bows try and sort of almost sit back the very best players it looks like they're hardly doing anything we're just Um, I once played with a first violinist in an opera and it was Mozart and I, I could never really work out whether he could actually play the notes or not. He sort of gave the impression he was playing the notes but it was it was an interesting experience because there wasn't extreme clarity but it, so he got away with murder and it, it was acceptable but it was a funny business but that, obviously that was first run in part but that's exactly what i'm employing there it's a sort of slight vague busyness and very light bow and just relax and don't stress too much because it's not particularly nice you might have heard hopefully at the end uh that of that section that you diminuendo right away to almost nothing keeping the left hand um active with vibrato so i hope that's helped give you some tips for the first page please please do give me emails give me feedback tell me if you liked it tell me if you hated it tell me if there was something that wasn't clear if you can't hear me i think this camera is better than downstairs my camera downstairs is 
better but the audio is less good I think so it's all an experiment I won't be doing it page by page like this because that would take way too long um, so I just thought worth doing the first page in depth and then we can go through a bit faster through the piece so much love to you all hope you're all really keeping well and safe and no viruses and really hope we get to see each other at some point in the distant future <laughs>